Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through how you set up each string on the iPad. Now you need this app called BS16i. So we open BS16i. It's available on the App Store. It's about eight pounds or eight dollars, and um, there's different displays. You can have it like it's like a key. Okay, but what you want is this type of display. Right. The next thing is look at right these are your that's the that's a picture of a midi socket for a midi plug it's got five pins you can see in a circle um, it's showing teensy midi as the core midi input what's a teensy a teensy is the name of the computer board inside the digigurdy that little computer board so that's all fine we're happy and that means when we um when we turn it on we get some music hopefully there we are So now you've got six channels. Channel one, you select from a library, a sound font, um, and you select the kind of string you want. So here we've selected a high G steel melody string, and it's saying it there. For this one, second melody string, we've got a low G steel melody string, and you need, you want, you need to experiment. We've got a high D trompet string for channel three. That's the one that's got the, the buzzing dog attached to it. And we also have the drone, remember, which tends to be a lower note. So here, oops, here we've got low G drone. So that's all good. What about channels five and six? Ignore all the others. There's only six channels relevant. Right, I've actually selected from our sound font library, which I'll tell you about in a separate uh, article. I've chosen a recording by Nigel Eaton of his hurdy-gurdy buzz and we've got loud Nige buzz I do loud right there what's the sixth channel this is key click sounds because hurdy-gurdies have a key click sound now you've got notice I've got medium loud and quiet and I've selected medium why do I need to select medium loud or quiet when I can actually adjust the loudness of it with this slider here you may ask and the reason is if you're using an Android phone you don't get these volume sliders for each channel so I have to actually record into the sound font if you like file the, the library of noises that are sitting in the memory of this device a loud one a medium one and a quiet one because you can't adjust the relative volumes um, and that's why genuinely I prefer the iPad um, because you get these volume controls. So now I can adjust the volume of each string uh, independently the drone. I can adjust just the volume of the, the buzz and I can adjust the volume of the key clicks. If they're too loud, they're annoying. And so again, if we just play. And there you go, it works. How would you use this if you don't have an iPad. So what I've got here then is I've got the USB extension lead plugged in as before. I've got my cheap old battered Android phone that's still working. This is a Motorola. Um, then we have one of these adapters which are easy to get. Um, I can give you links. Plug it in there. And this particular one is USB-C. Samsung's have a slightly different one there. Um, but these are low cost and you're just looking for something with the words, uh, letters OTG in the name. So it's OTG adapter Samsung phone, for example, or OTG adapter Android phone. Um, as I said, I can give you a link. So we plug it in. It's powering up now from the phone. Let's open our phone. Hang on. Now I need to find an app which I've downloaded from the Google Play Store called Fluid Synth MIDI. There it is, Fluid Synth MIDI. Boof. And it opens. Now you can see it's not as user friendly in terms of menus. So initially you'd go to settings and you would choose the sound font. So you want to download a sound font, select a sound font, select a sound font. Um, 
Actually, I want to cancel that because I've actually got the one I want already. You want keep screen on, otherwise it shuts off after a few minutes. And then go... And you don't want the internal sound font. If you use the internal sound font that comes with Fluid Synth Mini, um, you'll just have the machine sounding like an organ or something. It'll still kind of work. Right. So how do we set up the channels? Remember we've got six channels. There we are. Something Teensy Duino MIDI. That sounds good. That's what we want. Wait a minute. Right. Channel 1. What string do you want? So channel 1, if you remember, is one of the melody strings. So we've got high G steel melody there. Then channel 2. Low G steel melody. That's fine. Channel 3. High D trumpet. Channel 4. Low G drone. That's reasonable. Got to choose a reasonable string for, for the tuning you've set up. Nige, Buzz, Pajot, Loud. Now, do you remember I... You've got... Uh, hang on, where have we... You've got various buzzes and clicks. And you can choose from Nige, Buzz, Quiet there, for example. So we'll have the loud one. And then channel 6 is the key click. And again, if it's too noisy, you... you you don't choose kick it loud, you choose medium or quiet, so let's have medium. Right. That's actually it, it's ready to go now. So you may just be wondering what's this sound font thing? The sound font thing is a file that ends in .sf2. Um, it's very large, so what I would do is send it to you by WeTransfer and you download it from WeTransfer onto the actual phone that you're going to use or the actual iPad you're going to use. And just think of it as a huge file full of noises and information about the actual sounds because the sounds don't come from this device. This device just tells the phone what notes to play, which sounds to play. So let's just see what happens then. Uh, so do you want to keep the last settings? Yes. And you see, it remembers your last settings. That's really helpful, isn't it? If you want to just have a cup of coffee, come back, turn it on again, it'll remember where you were. Um, so I won't, I'll press the light blue key to start. Right, and it's ready to go. So if I crank. So you see it's, and the button on the front works if I press that. I can only reach the high notes, right? And um, one final thing on tuning. If you want to adjust the tuning, you can press both on the fly, both octave buttons at the same time. Let's see what happens if I do that. Right, it jumps to the tuning menu. So you can set up your tunings just like you did before. Select the one you want. Adjust the octaves. Up and down, if that's what you want to do. Down. Or up. Up again, maybe. There. Back to the middle. Put the capo on, perhaps. Or perhaps not. Okay, when you're happy, press the light blue key. There we go. Do you want the drones on or off? Yes, we'll have them on. And it's ready to go again. The last thing I need to try and show you is demo mode. Finally, this is just for fun really. Suppose you want to go into demo mode. You can go to demo mode by pressing this button and that. This one and this one together. Right, demo mode. Choose your song. Each key is a song. Each one of these keys is a song. So I press this one. Okay, the morning dew, banish misfortune, the blarney pilgrim. So if you want that, we've, we've chosen it, we now press the blue key to select it. There we are. Choose the playback speed. This key's slow all the way up to really fast. So let's try that one. And then you press the light blue key to start playback. Here it goes. 
a bit too fast, but you get the idea. If you buy yourself at some point later on one of these or something similar, uh, it's made by Yamaha and it's a strange looking thing. It's actually looks got two plugs, looks like two plugs really. Hang on, I'm falling everywhere. See? Two five pin plugs. And they go into these sockets, one there and the other one there. This is uh, a Bluetooth MIDI transmitter. You know that various devices like phones and iPads can talk to each other through Bluetooth or headphones indeed. What if you want the uh, DigiNerdyGuddy to, to transmit to the iPad without using this cable? You see, wouldn't that be great? Well, it's possible. You buy um, one of these, um, that's the receive one, it's not used. So it's only plugged into there to keep it from flopping around. This is the transmit one, that's the important one. When you plug it in, a light will come on and um, you can pair it with your iPad or phone and it will transmit MIDI data, which is a, an industry standard for transmitting, uh, if you like, musical information between synthesizers originally. But that's an optional extra, so you can, you can add this later on. In the basic setup, um, the device draws its power through the cable from your attached phone. Now you might say to yourself, hang on, if I plug one of those Yamaha devices in and it's just transmitting wirelessly, where does it get its power from? Because the DigiGurdy draws its power through the USB cable, doesn't it? And he said, that's normally true. But I thought of that, I've given you um, one of these. This is a phone backup battery device for when your mobile phone runs out of power and you're in the desert and you need to ring for help. And you undo these two screws, this slides out and it's like a little aluminium tube, which you've probably seen in other videos. And you can buy a battery to put in there that's rechargeable. It's called a 18650. And you charge it by plugging a phone charger into the top socket here and just leave it for a couple of hours and it will charge up. Um, to power the DigiGurdy from it, which is what you need to do if you're running it wirelessly, it needs its own internal power, you take the same lead that's dangling out of the end and that's why it's here, that's why it's at this end and you plug it in there. Now you see it started to glow and also screen's lit coming on, it's booting up. So now it's self-powered. If you want to turn it off, it's a little bit fiddly admittedly, you unplug it and after a moment this blue light will turn itself off. So there's no actual on off switch. So um, if you wanted to go wireless you would buy your own battery and fit it in the way I just described and you'd also buy one of these or a thing called a Widdy Master. And if you are going to go wireless, they tend to work better with iPads and iPhones than Android phones. Just seem a little bit less temperamental.